I'm not a morning person at all. I'm more of a night owl. I'd rather stay up late to get something done rather than get up early. Now, there is something for which it is worth getting up before the dawn. And I'm not talking about the kind of day where you get up early because you have a pressing deadline to meet and you're trying to get a jump on your day. And I'm not talking about the kind of day when you get up early because you have a morning flight to catch or a business trip. And I'm not talking about the kind of day where you get up early because it snowed at night and it's going to take a lot longer to get to work. I'm sure we've all had those kinds of days. But I'm talking about this kind of day. My first alarm went off at 5 a.m. and my body did not want to get out of bed. Inside bed is warm and cozy and swimming in the womb of my daydreams. And outside of bed, cold, dark, uninviting, like passing from the safety of the womb into an unfriendly and risky world. I was not yet ready to come out of the womb so I hit the snooze button and returned to my daydreams. They were friendly. They were peaceful. They had creativity and inspiration and adventure. Inside them, I got to explore the world while inside the comfort and warmth of my duvet. I got to soar over mountains and valleys. I got to glide through forests. I got to stride along trails with the ground underneath my feet, trees by my side, the canopy above me. It was an incredible journey with incredible sights, like standing on the escarpment and watching the sun come up over the lake. It was an incredible journey inside my mind, and it was one that my driving mind wanted to share with my sleepy body. There was a reason why I set my alarm for 5 a.m. that day, I was out to capture a sunrise and tell a story about it. A story has an audience, and my audience was the video camera in my iPhone. A story has a beginning, a middle, and end. And the beginning of this one was me croaking. It's 5 a.m. and I really don't want to get out of bed. And I told myself maybe I could do this another day. Maybe I'll do this next week. Yeah, I know better. I knew that if I didn't muster myself up to get out of bed that day, I was not any likelier to do it any other day. So 20 minutes later, I tell the next part of the story to my camera. It's 5.20 and I'm up now. My voice was less croaky, yet still subdued. And even though I was alone in my apartment, I'm still keeping my voice down as if I might wake someone up. I quickly got dressed, scurried out of my apartment and into my car. Dark outside. Oh, of course it's dark. I'm off to see a sunrise and I'm trying to get there before it starts. I grab my camera for one more check-in before I start the car. Let's go. Let's do this. My voice is strong, bold, and determined by this point. I drove to Queenston Heights, parked my car, and started walking through the park. I've never been there in the dark before. The General Brock Monument was lit up, and I took a few pictures, then continued towards a spot behind the Laura Secord Monument, where I hoped to see the sun to come up. The weather app on my phone told me the expected time of the sunrise, and I waited patiently. The air was cool, and yet, now that I was there, there was no way that I'd rather still be in my warm bed. As I waited for my appointment, I took pictures. I took notes of the various inscriptions and the plaques and memorials, and I shared various thoughts with my audience, my camera. And each time I did, I noticed that it became brighter outside, and the symphony of birdsong crescendoed. They, too, must be excited with the anticipation. About an, after, about an hour after I arrived, I was bathed in full daylight. The sun was modest that day. Rather than revealing her plunging neckline, she was wearing a thick gown of overclass, a thick gown of overcast clouds. I headed back to my car and noted that I would be back by 8 a.m., 
Well, that's the time that on the normal day, my first alarm is just going off. And although I did not get the sunrise I wanted that morning, it did take something to get there. And I ended up with an extraordinary adventure and a story to share.